If you've ever wondered where diamonds come from, well, this is it. They come from these sorts of rocks called kimberlites. This is from South Africa, from the premier uh, diamond mine. And uh, what it is, it's a volcanic rock, but it's not like any other type. It's one that comes from great depths, about 200 kilometers deep. And because it comes from so deep, these are the only types of uh, volcanoes that carry diamonds. Diamonds uh, are a form of carbon, uh, but at high pressure, and you need to get to about 150 kilometers deep before carbon stabilizes or converts from graphite to uh, diamond. So they come up in these sorts of things, these volcanic rocks. Now, how much of this rock do you have to mine to get a diamond? Well, there's about 50 parts per million carbon inside the mantle uh, down there. And so if you want a one carat diamond, uh, assuming that all of that carbon is concentrated into one grain of one carat, you have to uh, crush um, several kilograms of rock, which doesn't sound too bad. But the odds of all that carbon focused into one beautiful one carat diamond is very small. Um, chances are what you have to do to crush is um, tens of, of tons of rock. So we're talking something the size of my room right here, uh, almost. So. Uh, in order to do that, it's very labor-intensive. Back in the 1800s, early 1900s, if you were going to make a profit, you had to have a reliable workforce, you had to have cheap labor, and you had to basically underpay your people so that you could make uh, a profit. And so to do that, the way to do it was to subjugate the black South African, and then that was the beginning of apartheid. I'm telling you this because today there are nations, there are companies in our country, there are uh, nations across the ocean that are doing things that aren't so nice. We tend to look the other way because our interests might be tied to them, but at some point we have to take a moral stand and just not support them. Thank you.